Diddy Kong Racing! Welcome back to Diddy Kong Racing, everybody! We're gonna finish the last two trophy races today, and we're gonna use a character that we really haven't used a whole lot. Drumstick. He's a very good character, so... I feel like we need to just show him some support. So we'll start by going to Sherbet Island and then the Dragon Forest. Drumstick's turning is nowhere near as good as Pipsy's, but he's extremely fast and gets amazing boosts. Time to go to Sherbet Island and get the last trophy. And Drumstick dominates in a hovercraft. Whale Bay. First round, Whale Bay. Out of my way, Crunch. Although it does make sense why you are my main competitor on this course. And I just realized we haven't seen, like, the upgraded shield power-ups. I'll try to get those. Come on, whale. Thank you. Okay, those orange buoys are so adorable. Oh, hey, whale! What, do you, what brings you to this neck of the woods? We're not going to get another one, so... Blue shield. It lasts longer. <laughs> and yeah. Drumstick just kind of kills it in a hovercraft. Oh, he's... The whale's swimming towards us in extremely shallow water. No surprise Pipsy didn't do well. Pirate Lagoon, yes! Yeah, we're doing it out of order. Pirate Lagoon before Crescent Island. Crescent Island takes fewer balloons to enter. Oh, I thought that was a boost. I thought I used the boost before picking up the oil. Apparently not. And I just realized there are very few point races in this game. There's Hot Top Volcano and Windmill Plains. And then any plane in, uh, levels that are in the final world that we have yet to see. And I guess Fire Mountain, if you want to include that as a stage. And Smokey's Race. What? I'm Cat and Drumstick. Christmas Island. Christmas Island! That gives me a great idea for a Lemmings level. Christmas Island. Darn it. Yeah, look at those great boosts he's getting. That being says, an amazing pirate ship, like having the N64 logo on your sail. I'm not even going to try for the shortcut. I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at this lead I have! This is amazing. This just shows you the power of just how fast the drumstick is. Granted, I'm using the tap A trick, but... His turning is really not terrible, considering how heavy, heavy and fast he is. It's nothing like crunches. Yeah, that turns nearly impossible for Drumstick to make. Finish it off with Treasure Caves, one of my favorites. It still makes me so sad that they removed the Treasure Caves music from the DS version. Woo! Drumstick wins the trophy. Not that there was any doubt in anyone's minds. The reason I didn't get the trophies in the worlds, like, as I was beating them is because I felt like that would just clump me, like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat these levels. Oh, and then I'm gonna beat them with the Silver Coin Challenges. Oh no, and then I'm immediately going to beat them again. I felt like that was just too much. I decided to break it up a bit. Alright. Time to go to the Dragon Forest. And get that last trophy. Black! Come on, drumstick, you're better than this. Dragon Forest. Trophy race. Oh boy. Boulder Canyon. And we start with Boulder Canyon, which is a weird choice. Yeah, the levels in this, like, for the trophy race, like, they're really out of order. Like Windmill Plains, the first level in the world, we play third in the trophy race. We're gonna go for the sewer right now. Yes, we're gonna get the purple boost! Is that somebody shooting a missile at me? Drumstick just like passed straight through a log, clipped right through it. Go through the sewer right away. Well, this trophy race is starting out very nicely. Of course, that was the level I was most confident in, <laughs> my ability to beat. Now we're on to the heart of levels. <laughs> Get 
In fact, the only level that they really got in the right order was Haunted Woods for this, where you play that last. It's always good to boost up hills. Great, TT's my main competition. This is gonna be bad. Especially since he's actually picking up bananas along the way. The drumstick expertly weaves between the power-ups. This is actually a close race. We are all, like, clumped right next to each other. And despite me having 11 bananas, I'm not dominating. I like how Green Greenwood Village is very similar to Haunted Woods in like its architecture. It's just Haunted Woods is better. <laughs> How did Crunch win second in that race? So Drumstick's admittedly not great in the plane, but we'll just do our best. Because you have to go in every vehicle in this cup, it's, it's a bit tricky. And I just realized, I think that was our last hovercraft race, uh, the Boulder Canyon one. I don't think we'll be using the hovercraft again. That's what I'm talking about. That was the opposite of what you were supposed to do, drumstick. Really? For real? TikTok, we are not gonna lose to you. What did he hit? What in the world did Drumstick hit? A crease? This will not stand. Who's shooting at me? Oh, great, look at that lead TT has now. One windmill, and then suddenly you're hitting invisible creases in the wall, and every other windmill. Crunch. Alright, so I lost to TT, but... I'm still far in first. I just didn't get a flawless victory. Got him up haunted woods, seriously. Even with 
the weird wispy ghosts laughing at you. Thank you! Do, 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 do. TT one second on that one as well. Last trophy for the game. Last trophy in the entire game. Not really. There's one more. It's the secret trophy. Alright. It's time to go to Wizpig's secret world now. Let's check out the sign. Some might be wondering, what do we do now? What we do is hit the sign. Yep. Beam me up, Scotty. Yes, the lighthouse is a rocket ship. We're going to space, everybody! Welcome to the last world of the game. And let me tell you, it's a doozy of a world. It is one doozy of a world. And we're going to explore it in the next episode. Also, this is the TT door, but we can't actually open it just yet. We have to beat all of these. Thanks for watching, I'm Cover Forty, and I hope to see you next time when we will tackle Future Funland. Have a great day, and God bless!